All right, so this is problem seven from homework three. And this was a tough one for a lot of people. It was a lot like that number 25 um, that I posted the video for, but let's start by reading it. To protect critical habitat, your agency constructs and maintains fire breaks using a bulldozer. The current dozer we have is 15 years old and you've been tasked with determining what maintenance and replacement schedule should be followed by your agency. Your agency uses a 5% annual discount rate. So what you need to know for this first option is a new dozer costs $300,000 and would last for 20 years, right? What's the present value of a perpetual value of periodic costs associated with only buying new dozers? So a dozer will last 20 years and it'll cost us 300,000. Our current bulldozer is, is 15 years old. So what would a timeline look like? The timeline looks like this. Remember we're doing perpetual periodic. So here we are standing in time, time, and the age of the dozer is 15. So in five years, it's 20 and we need to buy it minus 300,000. And at 25, when it's 20 again, we have to buy a new one, 300K, and so on. So 45 minus 300K, right? And we want to know if that goes on and on and on, every time it gets to 20, we buy it, what does it cost? So what we can look at from our timeline is it's not single series. It's, it is a series. It's not every year. In this case, it's every 20 years. So we're down here every 20 years forever. It's perpetual. It's a perpetual periodic. So it's this equation right here. So we can write that equation down. A1 plus I to the N minus 1. That's our equation, right? And if we think about where that solves, that solves N... 2n, 3n with these a's, and it gives us a bo at zero. So that's what we need to know. Our a in this case is minus 300,000, or you could just say positive since we're already talking about costs. i is up here, 5%, and the n is every 20 years we'll buy a new one. So we can apply our equation here. So VO equals minus 300,000 over 1.05 to the 20 minus 1. And that gives us a value here of 181 for 55.52. But now the question is, where did I just solve this value to? So because this is the equation, right, that n, 2n, 3n, that's where these a's occur, where does that occur out here? So there's two ways that I can do it, just like when we did problem 25. I either crunch all of these future 300s to, to, to here, in which case I need to account for that one, and then I can move them both back. I can add them together if I assume that's my VO, and then I bring them together back five. That would look like this. So the VO in that case is going to be this 181, 455.52, plus the 300,000 that wasn't accounted for that, right? So that's my VO from all of these, plus that, and I'm going to bring it, discount it five years. The discounting is the single value moving back in time or sliding things over to the left. So I put it over 1.05 to the 5, and that gives me the present value here, which is 377, 232.99. So the other way I could have done it is I could have said, here's that timeline with all these 300,000s, Right, and here's where it solves to with its VO. But where am I sitting if this is 20 years, 20 years, 20 years, or sorry, 20, 40, 60? I'm sitting here 
at age 15. And so I can take my VO and move it forward. So in that case, the same VO, the 181. So if I say 181, 455.52, and assume that it's here, 15 years ahead of me, and want to slide it to the right, I can multiply it by 1.05 to 15, and I will get 377 to 32.99. You can do it either way, right? So you can assume that it solves to here. I have to add that 300 on and move it back five years. Or you can apply it, assume that it's solved. If we did it on our point, we would be up here back negative 15, right? So that's this one. And then we slid it forward 15 years. Either way we do it, we get 377, 232, 99. So I'll post another video with 7B. It's got another step to it. So see you then.